everyone, welcome back to my channel. We will start with a new series called the Jetbase series, a mix of Jetpack Compose and Firebase. In this series, we will cover all the Firebase services and how to integrate them seamlessly with Jetpack Compose, like login and sign up using Firebase authentication, real-time database, Firestore and CRUD functionality. And we will also create a big project that covers all the topics that we will cover in this series. So let's start with the first video where we will learn how to create a login sign up using Firebase Authentication. Now, for the newbies who don't know what a Firebase is, it's basically a company that provides backend services which you can use to store your data or images and other functionalities. It's free to use but has limitation after a few projects. Okay. Now let's create the project. Open Android Studio, choose empty activity, name the project login jc auth and click on finish. Now the first thing that we need to do is to connect our project with Firebase. So go to firebase.com. Firebase has a completely new look which is great and recently it has introduced Firebase Studio which makes an entire app within minutes using AI. How cool is that? I know, you will be wondering why don't we directly use Firebase Studio instead of writing all of this code. To answer that, you should watch my Firebase Studio video by clicking on the i button and you will know why. Now, as a new user, make sure that you are logged in with your Gmail account. Then click on create a Firebase project. Write your project name. It could be the same name as your project or a different one. Click on continue. Enable Gemini. Yes. Enable analytics. No, click on create project and here we go. Close Gemini for now. So this is a Firebase console where you will find all the features like build, run and analytics for our project. Great. These are all the services provided by Firebase like authentication, cloud fire store, storage, hosting and other required services. Choose Android. This is where it actually begins. So register your app using the package name. This is what our project package name is. So copy and paste it here. Then the app nickname could be anything you like. Then we have something called as debug signing certificate, SHA. It's optional, but we will require it when we use features like dynamic links and Google signing. So quickly, I'll show you where to find SHA. Go to Android Studio, click on Gradle, present on the right sidebar. Click on execute Gradle. Here, write the command, signing report, and click enter. And there you go. Here, you will find SHA1, SHA256, and many other information. So, simply copy SHA1 and paste it here. For privacy reasons, I am keeping it confidential, and you should too, because SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm, which is like a key for you to access Google Signing, and also for your app's credibility. Click on register your app. Here, download the JSON file, switch to project view, and then copy paste the file under app. Next, add Firebase SDK. It means to add Gradle dependencies. So, write along with me. Add plugins first, then add dependencies. Click on sync now. Now, once everything is added, click on continue to the console. And there you go. Our project is connected with Firebase. The steps might look complex, but it's the first video. Hence, I'm explaining everything in detail. But from the next video, we'll set up Firebase in minutes. Now, once the project is connected, you need to mention which service we are going to use. As we are creating login and sign up, so I will enable authentication using email password. And that's it. This is where all the user's email will be displayed. Now it's time to write the code. So come back to Android Studio. Go to Android Manifest. Here, add the internet permission. And done. Then we will have three screens. Login, sign up, and home screen. All of the screens will be connected to the main activity. Hence, create three new classes. And done. Now let's start with the main activity. Remove the default code. See, the concept of authentication is very simple. The user registers using an email and a password that are stored in Firebase. 
Later, at the time of login, the email and password are checked to see if they match the registered email and password or not. If they match, the login is successful. But if they don't match, the login fails. How simple is that? Now, let's write the code for it. Here, in the main activity, we will take care of navigation. The navigation between all three screens. So, create a composable function, auth app, and inside it, we will use Remember name controller to manage navigation between screens. We also require to add navigation and life cycles dependency. So let me quickly add them too. Then define a name host with login as the starting destination means our first screen will be a login screen. Inside the name host, it declares three composable routes. Login for the login screen, sign up for the sign up screen and home for the home screen each receiving nav controller to handle navigation actions. This code allows seamless navigation between login, sign up and home screen using keywords, which is known as routes. Make sure to call it here inside the set content. This errors will be gone once we write the complete code. Then go to sign up screen. Here we will create a sign up screen which includes a sign up title, two text fields, one sign up button and a text that redirects to the login screen with logic. So we have to add name host controller as a parameter wherever we use the navigation feature. See, sign up error is gone once we have mentioned nav controller here. Then inside it, we start by defining two state variables, one for the email and one for the password. Add their imports. The layout use a centered box with field max size, 16 dp padding, and alignment as center. Inside a center horizontally column with a title as sang up, then a spacer of 24 dp. Then an outline text field for email with all the attributes. Again, a spacer of 16 dp. Then another outline text field for password with all the attributes. Again, a spacer of 24 dp. Then declare the context for toast. Below it is a button. When the sign up button is clicked, it triggers Firebase authentication to create a user with provided email and password. So, to do that, first we need to add Firebase authentication dependency in Gradle. Then initialize the Firebase in main activity. And now we will use create user with email and password. If the sign up is successful, a toast message appears sign up successful. Please log in. And the user is navigated to login screen, clearing the sign up screen from the back stack using roots. If it fails, an error toast is shown and then sign up button text. Again, a spacer of 8 dp height. There is also a text button below that which allows the user to go back to the login screen if they already have an account. And that's it. Our sign up screen is ready. Now we will do the same thing for the login screen, but with a few changes. So you can simply copy the sign up screen code and paste it here in the login screen. Now carefully look at the changes. This is obviously the login screen. The email and the password are the same. The box is also the same. Here in the column, write title as login. The email and password text fields are also the same, except we will add visual transformation that is star to hide the password. Then in the button for registering, we use create user with email and password, but to login, we will use sign in with email and password. Again, if it is successful, then throw a toast login successful and navigate to the home screen by popping up the previous screen, which is the login screen. Else, if it fails, then throw an error toast with the button text login. Then below it, a text button that navigates the user to the sign up screen if they don't have an account already. And that's it. Our login screen is also ready. Next, go to home screen. 
here we will have a text that says welcome to the home screen and also log out button so create a box fill max size padding 16 dp and alignment as center then a column centered horizontally inside the text says welcome to the home screen with a spacer of 24 dp then below it a button which uses sign out function from firebase and redirect the user back to the login screen the button text says log out and that's it our home screen is also ready now let's run the app and check see the login page is our first screen as i am a new user i will click here to sign up write an email id and a password click on the sign up button and there you go sign up successful and it automatically redirects us to the login screen so again here i will write the registered email and password click on login and here we are login successful welcome to the home screen also if you refresh the users in the firebase console you will see the registered email of the user you can log out also and there you go you have successfully created a login screen using firebase authentication in the upcoming videos we will explore more of firebase and jetpack compose through this series so yeah that's it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video